Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today I am kind of off the camera. Um, I want to thank you for tuning in today. It is a rainy and cold day where I am. So, I want to take you through this video and show you this right here. This is something I picked up at the Dollar Tree. This is 40 pound roll. Mm. Anyway, it's 30 inches by 10 feet. And this is a craft paper roll by Jot. Not sponsored. So I picked this up at Joanne and what I mean not Joanne, I'm sorry. The Dollar Tree for a dollar twenty-five. The dollar twenty-five tree. So what we're gonna do with this, what we're gonna do with this is we are going to I was in the middle of cutting. I've been cutting like a cutting machine. So what are we gonna do with this? Let's take it out the plastic and I'm going to use this as my pattern paper. I saw it and I thought this would be a nice hat for the people who can't get the pattern paper that I use, which comes on a really huge roll. I have one back here that I keep on my table. It's from here to all the way down there. So it's more than 36 inches, obviously. It's it is probably about 40 something to 50 something inches, I I believe, I think. Don't quote me on that, but it's the fashion pattern paper that you can get. But anyway, if you can't find that, and they usually sell them, I mean, I usually buy stuff in bulk, as you can see, uh, because I was a fashion student, so I know where to get those things on bulk, like that. But anyways, um, I saw this at the Dollar Tree, and I... Felt like it would be a really nice pattern paper. It's not too thin and it's not too thick. It's kind of the same consistency as the um, official pattern paper. And I know you could use tissue paper. You could use plastic. You can use newspaper. You could use printer paper because when we print out our, when you print out the um the paper on what do you call that those pdf patterns yeah you just use regular printer paper so anyways to the point 10 feet is quite a good amount for a dollar so if you can go grab this then by all means go get this because it's really nice or you could even use wrapping paper too i actually was gonna do one with wrapping paper but then i saw this and I thought this would be nice because it has nothing on it. It's just kind of brown. It's good for pencil markings, pen markings, marker markings, any kind of markings you need to make on it. It is perfect for that. So today, what I want to do with this is I have a t-shirt that I really love the fit of. Not for me, but for the kids. And I want to copy that. So I'm going to be showing you two things at once. All right. So here's the shirt. Okay, that fell on the floor. So here's the shirt. I already have it folded in half. Um, even though I have patterns that have boys' um, shirts in it, I have tried them. And the size is just, they're just not giving. It's either the sleeve is too short or it's just off in some kind of way which is really going to take some time to perfect those patterns for the children. So the girls' dresses usually come out nice, but for the boys, I don't know what's going on with these patterns, but they just don't, they're just not giving off the bat great fit. All right, so what I'm going to do is try to find my tracing wheel. It should be here somewhere. Okay. here she goes so all right so i'm just gonna trace this shirt i'm probably gonna go up as much as i can because i don't want to waste any of this paper at all <laughs> you know it's 
not necessary, but it's just me. All right. Okay, so we have it here. So I'm going to do the length. So because it is folded up probably about an inch or so, I'm going to go down an inch. And I'm going to try to perfect these with a ruler later on. Or with a straight edge or something. I'm going to try to follow this line on this cutting mat. Just to get a straight line across there. And then... Let's do the sleeve. So I'm going to come over just a little bit. Get that on. And remember to add seam allowance when you're doing this. Remember to add seam allowance. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this, I'm just going to feel. It feels like they have the back going in a little bit more than the front on that. So I'm just going to follow the armhole and then I'm just gonna go down try to go down as straight as I can I'm going out I don't know how straight out let's see let's try this way all right that kind of looks like it And you see how easy this is? See, I did armhole kind of there. I'm just going to perfect that. Like this. Okay. And then now for the front. So this is the front we're doing. I'm just... I'm going to come down first. See if I could get this through here. If not. Let's just do a like that. And then okay. Alright, so let me see if you can see what I'm doing. Alright. And then let's just mark where the center front is. Just gonna go all the way down. Like that. And then we could always Fold all right, and then that is the front. Now let's write on this so we don't forget. Okay, so this is the center front, and then we want to draw our little this that means cut on the Fold. And then this is the front. And then this size shirt is a six. So I'm just going to write that size six. Okay. And cut one. Unfold. Unfold. Doesn't have to be perfect long as you know what it is. There you go. Okay. I think this looks kind of lopsided here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, now let's move on to the back. And then actually, I could actually keep this one pattern and use it for both, you know. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's what I'm going to do just to make my life easier. Because sometimes we don't really need two pattern pieces if it's the same thing. And this seems like it is the same thing because if I, if I do this, the back is no much bigger than the front and I know that also because this line here I don't feel it being any bigger with the sleeve in so it's just the neckline one is higher one is lower so what I'm gonna do is just go up a few inches I'll be around here and then we're just gonna curve that in 
off to be the back like that. And then we we'll bring this up. See how easy that is, and the sleeve. I'm not too worried about this sleeve, but I just wanted to show you how to use this pattern paper to get what you need. Okay, um, if you like this video and found this video um useful or helpful. Let me know down in the comments. This was really just how to show you or to, to show you how I would use this pattern paper. This wasn't really a tutorial, but... And look, for this little shirt, I only use... I only use that much. And I still have tons left. So I'm just going to re-roll this back up and save it for some other projects. And this paper is a little bit easier to work with. Than the big paper that I have. So I'm just going to put that over there so it doesn't spill out. But that's what I'll be using in a few more videos for... My pattern. So here's the pattern. I'm going to cut it out. And then that's it. Yeah. Really quick video. And I'll see you in my next video. Can't wait to show you my 30 and 30 makes. See you later. Bye-bye.